What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. So today we are taking a quick look at Del Piero, right? So a lot of people have been asking me about him. Personally speaking, Del Piero for me is is kind of a personal taste player. Um, I think that he is go he goes to a 97 overall, pretty much in a 100 overall in, a, in, in the proper game plan with the team play style and all that. He is a classic number 10, which does take a bit of getting used to. I'm waiting on the next update to do this video where I take a look at all the play styles, but I'll try to get it out as quickly as possible because I know a lot of people are interested in it. It's just taking a lot of time, lads, so apologies about that. I want to do as much in-depth as possible, right? Del Piero also has standard form, which is a little bit of a concern for me, especially if I'm going to be using a legend squad on my proper, you know, proper squad. If I'm, I'm, I want my players to be my starting 11 all the time, unless it's a personal choice and not playing him. Rest of his stats are quite decent. A lot of people sleep on him because he is a classic number 10, but he does have insane, insanely good stats that go into the 90s. So we're going to take a quick look. He does also have, of course, a uh, first time shot, no look pass, but he doesn't have double touch and one touch. So there is a bit of training required with Del Piero, which is why he's not really going to be for me, um, personally speaking. Now, can he shoot with long range shoot and shooting and stuff? Yeah, but I have Messi for that role. So I'm going to be taking a lot of shots on with Messi. But anyway, we will do the training guide for him. We have one version of him, which I think is the best. And we'll do a slightly tweaked version of that for a second alternative. But there is there's only one way to really train him, to be fair. So we've got a few levels here to go. 35 in total. 8 into dexterity, passing and shooting and lower body. 10 into dribbling and then 2 into aerial strength. 2 into aerial strength are kind of like non like non runners anyway um i mean you you just have to kind of burn those two stats there to get into the 97 if you want um that just brings up his overall which you know doesn't really make any difference to the card at all um so with that card there you can do a little bit of tweaking to it i think getting his finishing up to the 89 80 you know 90 mark is is key dribbling ball control type possession all really really important as well um You've still got your balance into the 95, 96 zone. Um, he is standard form, so he's not going to have unwavering the whole time. But his speed and acceleration are quite decent. His kick and power, his curl, everything is pretty decent, right? A good alternative for Del Piero is Dybala, right? So Dybala is a kind of a player that will be that way as well. They're both different play styles, so obviously you won't get a like for like. And I would also say that he's not as good finishing and not as good acceleration uh, from the stats, right? But other than that, they're similar players, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, similar height and stuff like that. Obviously, Dybala is, is a bit uh, uh, taller. But yeah, the classic number 10 is a, is a difficult play style to play, especially if you're playing him as an SS. I would probably play Del Piero straight up as a CF and just kind of get rid of the play style. Don't take that into consideration at all. He does have a, a couple of other versions of him there as well, like the Legend card and stuff. I think this card is probably a little bit lacking um, for me, even though he's got 90 plus acceleration, balance and finishing and dribbling by the time you train him up. I would probably make a couple of alterations to this. Um, most notably, I would probably take one out of the shooting to have 85 shooting. That's more than enough for him. You are going to be sorry. I would take more. I would take the passing out because if I'm going to be playing him up front, I don't need that passing to be any higher than 75. And then I would also probably add one onto that to get the ball control up into the 90 zone with the form arrow as well. And then the finishing, because we are going to be finishing a lot with him, I would probably boost that up to the two mark as well. He still goes to a 97 overall with that overall there. We don't have to waste uh, anything in aerial strength. And I also think on top of that, with the 88 finishing, the 88 ball control, the 89 acceleration, the 95 balance and the 92 dribbling, you've got the key stats that you want. On top of that, you've got curl as well. So you're going to have multiple stats. The most important stats from Del Piero, like on paper, he should be an absolute monster and he probably will be a monster for you. There's just something lacking about this card in my eyes, but I could be wrong. I think a lot of people sleep on him and a lot of people don't use him. You know, they prefer to use Romario, me included, but I definitely think he's a complete center forward. Um, he kind of reminds me of Romario. Obviously, he's not going to be as good finishing as Romario, but he's got everything on paper that you could want if you are looking to get him into that role. I would like to try this build of him like over a longer period of time, right? I did play with him on uh, one of the boys' profile. I didn't actually spin for Del Piero, but I do have a legend version of him. We haven't really given him a proper whack with this version of him, um, the Epic, but I definitely think he could be a beast. So let me know what you guys think. And I will be back soon. We will be streaming tomorrow, Monday, on a big stream. So let me know what you guys uh, want from that stream. And we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.